Creating a great design for your sign up screen is really important so that more people will sign up. And this time we want to create here this design page. So we want to focus on this design which you see here at the top and everything is created with Flutter itself. In the last video we have created the sign in process and we have created until this design here. So what is missing is basically here this design at the top and that's what we want to create right now. To get started we go here to our sign up widget which is exactly this page which you see here on the right side and here we have this build sign up which is here all this text and also the google sign in button which you see here and below of this page we want to paint our design so what we do is we wrap this here into a stack widget so that we can place it below and here we put our custom paint inside and with this one you can basically paint these colors which you saw before. And here inside we create a new widget, our background painter. And with this one we want to create right now this design. And here in this class we make it first of all extendable from a custom painter. And then we create here also an object of a point. And we use this later to define here all the points of our design because this design is like basically a curve and here we have different points to which we reach and then it will draw this curve for us and fill it also with some color. Now we go further and create here all the paint objects. So basically we want to create here blue, gray and orange and this is exactly for each of these colors we have a different paint object. and. Now we also want to initialize them. So we have here our constructor and here inside we initialize our blue paint. And what is the most important here is that we set here the color. So we set here the blue color and we also set it here to painting style fill, which is really important to fill later this content with the color. And now we create also the gray paint. So here we put a gray color inside and a orange paint where we also put here an orange color inside. Because we extend here with the custom painter, we also need to override two methods. The first one is the paint method and the second one is the should repaint method. And this is the most important one where we basically want to paint right now our colors inside. Let's get started by painting here this blue curve. And therefore I simply create a new method where I call it paint blue. Let's get started by creating our first point. And here we define size width as the x coordinate and as the y coordinate we put here zero inside. So this is exactly this point here. And this is our starting point and then we want to draw a line to 0.0. .0. This is here. So we have created our first line from this location to this location here. And now what we want to do is to create a curve from here until here. And therefore we use the Bezier2 function. And here we put two points inside. The first point is size width 35% and size height 35%. So basically we take here the screen width and go here 35%. So maybe it's somewhere here around and we take the whole height of our screen and go then to 35% and it might be somewhere here around. So we go to this location probably and in our design, this is then here our location somewhere in between here. And then we also add the last point. This is where we want to reach our curve. And this is here the size width. So it's here actually at the end. And in the height, we go to size height by 50% and therefore we are almost here. And that's all what we need to draw this curve. And then we simply call here canvas.drawPath and put here our path object inside with the blue paint. So we define here that it should be painted in the blue color. And now if I hot reload, you see here exactly this painted thing. So we have first of all created with these both lines, this line from here to here. And then we have created the curve from this location to this location. And here in between we have this control point. So this is somewhere here around. And then we simply draw it to our canvas. And if you look to our design here on the left side, it looks already pretty good. However, you see that this design is a bit different. So here at the end, we have a small curve and here we don't have it. And why is here a difference is because we have here in this design three points and not two points, because right now we use here this point, this point and this point. However, in this design, we have this point, this point, 
this point and then here also point. So we have one point more and that's what we also want to do right now. Therefore we want to add here a new method and this method will actually paint all of our points into our pass object and here inside we first of all connect two points together so we want to always draw two points with our Bezier2 function and then we also want to paint here the last point so this is for example this point to this location here. And yeah, if you don't understand this functionality, it's okay, because this is basically what we did before, only that we have this time here a list of points and then we are going through of this list and simply paint all of these points inside. And now we can simply make use of this method and put here our points inside. So instead of here that we have this path this year to directly, we use it here indirectly because here we also use it. However, we will now use this method at points to pass instead. So I will simply replace it here. And for now, I will take this here out and put it here below so that we can change here the parameters. And the first parameter we need to define here inside is the pass object. And after this attribute, we need to supply here a list of points. So I will simply create here a new list. And inside of it, we want to make use of our point object here at the top. And basically we put then the X coordinate inside of our point and the Y coordinate. So let's create one point. And I simply take here the same thing as before. So we take here this and put it here inside. And we also take our second point which is exactly this point here and put it also inside. And now we also need to supply here a third point and this point is somewhere here around. So we will also create another point. And now if I hot restart, you see that we have here all of our three points. So we have one point here and then we have here this little curve also in our design. All right, now we have accomplished a lot already. And by the way, if you want to get the source code of this design, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more efficient and more advanced Flutter developer. Now that we have created here the color of blue, our first color, the other things go pretty fast because here it is exactly the same principle for the other ones. And so I don't need to go into detail anymore. Let's start in our paint method again and here we create this dark color. So it's exactly this color which you see here and we want to build now this curve which you see here. Therefore I create here a new method paint dark and here again we have our pass object created and then we start here and move our point to the location of size width zero. So this is exactly this point here and now we draw a line from this point to this point like before also. And we also place here a second line inside and this one goes from zero. So this is the X coordinate to size height by 50% almost. So this might be somewhere here around. And this then should create already our design, which we have here. So basically we create a line from here to here and then to this location. And now we want to create basically this curve. And this is also pretty simple to accomplish. So what we do here is to simply call the canvas draw pass and put here again our pass object inside and in between we want to build our curve. So I simply call here again like last time this add points to pass and now we simply put here all the points inside which we want to use. So we want to create one point here at size width 50% and size height 65%. So this might be somewhere here and the size height 65% might be somewhere here around. And this is only our control point. So this point we might never reach. It is only going here with this curve into this direction. However, if we add a second point, he will then go also to this point. So he will never reach this point. And then we also create a second point. So this is the second point. Let's look at better here. So we created our first point. This was probably like here around and our second point is now here at 70%. So it's somewhere here and at 20% of height. So it might be here somewhere around and therefore we create here our second point. And then we also create here our last point. And here we simply go to the size width. So we go here to the end of our screen and to the height of 15%. So this is here 15% of our screen height. 
And now we have created these three points here inside and I can then hot restart our application. And then you see we have here exactly this curve created and it's pretty simple and easy to do like you can see. And we also can change here this color now of our text. So I go here to our sign up widget where the text is inside and I change it here to the color of white. Let's also create here our last curve, this orange curve, which you see here. And therefore I create again a new method. And here inside we again have this pass object. And this time we move our location to the size width 70%. So basically we are going here into the direction of this point. So we start here somewhere around and then we create here a line to zero zero, which is this location. And after it, we create here a line to zero zero. So this is here exactly this location at the beginning. So we have created the first line. Now we also create the second line to this location. So this might be here at zero and size height 20%. So here we have 20% of our height of our screen and therefore we are going here to this location. And now it's pretty simple again. We create simply here some points on this curve and then we draw here this curve. Therefore I call here again our method and here inside we put again our points. So we create our first point and on this line of this curve our point might be here somewhere at 20% and at 20% of our height. So we might never reach this point but we are going inside of this direction with our curve. Then we add another point and this time we have here higher x value. So we go here to 35% of the width and to 10% of our height. And then we also create another point and this time we are here at 65% and at 6%. So we are probably somewhere here around. And the last point is here at 75% and zero. So this might be somewhere here around. And now we have reached this end of our curve. And now that we have our points here created, we also need to call here again, canvas draw pass and put our pass object inside and the orange color. And now we have here exactly this curve like we have also in our design. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.